what I want to talk about in terms of、um, how do you grow your small amount of money to a point where you can begin to take, you know,、uh, increase your risk tolerance and,、uh, and, and don't get disappointed when you've started trading. There are certain things that you've got to know when you start to trade or when you come into trading. The technicals and the strategies and things, we are going to talk a lot about those going forward. But today, I just want us to go to the very basics. There, it depends on what you want to trade. Trading with your own money in terms of、uh, are you trading a cash account or are you trading on margin? Now, for most things like、um, trading stocks and trading forex, you can trade a cash account. Option as, options as well, you can trade a cash account. However, very often when you don't have a lot of money in your account and you're trading within continental USA, there are certain rules that prohibit you from making so many trades in one day or in one week. Now, that can be very、um, discouraging because sometimes if you are not a long term player and you're looking for、uh, the small wins here and there, which, is means, which can mean that you're scalping. Then you want to do so many trades in a day so you can have、uh, a higher return on investment and a quicker return on investment. Okay. Now, when it comes to stocks, so very often when everybody talks about trading, the first thing we think about is stocks, equities. Now, what rules affect those things? There's something we call the PDT rule, the pattern day trading rule, which basically stipulates that. You cannot trade, you cannot、uh, execute more than three to four trades, or I think a maximum of four trades in any one week, in any seven days, if you have less than $25,000 to your trading account. Now, that you know, prohibits people and prevents a lot of people from jumping in and you know, making trades that they want to make, even if they, if they have the opportunity to do it. If you try to do it on certain exchanges that you have less than $25,000, you're going to get yourself in trouble. They're going to you know, either not allow you to place your trade or you place your trade and they're going to cancel it. Now, people like to get around that by signing up to brokers that are, you know, that are registered abroad. So there are a few brokers that are registered abroad and you can register. And because they are not. You know, privy to the、uh, US rules and regulations, you can trade as many times as possible. I do not necessarily encourage that and advise that. One, for, one because all the taxes that you are paying to such a company is not staying within the US. And, you know, taxes are very good for any economy. And so I would always encourage that you look for something that you can trade within the US so that when you're paying your taxes, it's staying here and it's helping to grow the economy. Okay. Now, Because of that reason, if you don't have that large amount of money, $25,000, let's say you've got $500, let's say you've got $1,000, you can choose to either trade the stocks, but yes, trade you know, small lots and、uh, trade small lots so you don't lose money. Because with stocks, once you buy, if, if you buy low and you expect to sell high, if it hasn't gone up, you just wait. But what if it goes up quickly and you want to get some profit and do it again? You can't do it so many times. But... If that is the way you want to go and you're patient, just keep trying that. You know, little by little, keep growing little by little. You know, keep growing little by little. However, if you want to do something a bit more aggressive where you trade a little more, then maybe I'll tell you to look at the Forex market. The Forex h a v e no restrictions as to how many times you can trade in a day. Okay? You can trade a hundred times so long as you've got the money to place your trades. But there is a catch there as well. The catch there is that. You trade very often on margin. And what basically margin means is that you, the, the broker is giving you some money or is giving you a loan to be able to buy X amount of stock,、uh, you know,、uh, X amount of contract in terms of the、uh, Forex pair that you're buying. If you're not very careful and you expose yourself too much, that is, you, you use all your money in a single trade and the trade goes against you. You are going to get a margin call because the broker is going to say that, well, we gave you a loan to buy the thing, and you don't seem to have enough money in your account to cover any excesses. And so they are going to, you're going to get a margin call. And guess what? When that happens to you, 
your account is blown, you are discouraged, you don't ever want to trade again. Just want to caution everybody. Trading is a great undertaking. You can make fantastic money. You can lose fantastic money. But if we do it right, we are all going to win. And doing it right means that you are looking at risk and, and, and taking only necessary risk. Any unnecessary risk, please don't take it. You don't want to blow your account because if you blow your account, you are, dis you are totally discouraged. You don't want to come back again. So uh, I would say that maybe you go the Forex route, you grow your account to a certain, a certain level, and then you also give yourself the confidence of trading. You learn how to trade. You, learn, you begin to learn how to use some of the base indicators that a lot of people use that seem to work. And we are going to, we're going to give you all of those tools here. We're going to tell you how to use them, how to use the uh, uh, multi-time frame analysis, how to use you know uh, a different combination of, of indicators to gauge the right entry and the right exit. Now, that is very important because most trading, you can win, but you only win by keeping it simple. You don't overcomplicate the trade. You don't overexpose yourself in terms of risk. Okay. So, going on what I was saying before, if you trade, if you trade Forex for a while and you're getting better at using all of these tools and you're making money, you can then at that point say, okay, now, can I go and look at options and see how options? You know, we've got other people, we've got experts in this house, people that have good, good, got good call outs every day. I mean, I'm not saying that from the beginning you can't do that. You can do that from the beginning, but you must have the risk tolerance for it. That you can win some and you can lose some. Some of the call outs are going to be great. Some of them are frankly not going to be great. But that is what trading is all about. You're willing to take the risk and you're also willing to lose the money if that is what happens because but you're not going to cry you just live to fight another day okay so you can move on to options now one of my areas of expertise is uh is trading the futures market and why do i say that i like i say that because i like the futures market in terms of the returns that you make it's frankly frankly it is phenomenal you can make so much money trading futures but also they have the uh, the same margin requirements issues that, that are there. If you don't have the right amount of balance in your account to take the required kind of risk that you have to take, you easily get a margin call. And margin calls can ruin, ruin your account. So I always encourage people that when you start from Forex and then you can get on to, eventually get on to, into uh, options and into stocks, then hopefully at that point, you've now grown your account to pass $25,000. And then you can, you know, gallantly or very confidently walk into, uh, into futures trading. And then in into futures trading, when you come there with all the experiences that you've gained from trading stocks, forex, and, and, and uh, options, you, you, you know, you know there, there's no stopping you, you know. The, the end, the end, it's, you know, the end that you can define for yourself. How rich do you want to get? You can do that. That does not mean that the risk is eliminated. The risk is never eliminated. However, because you've taken calculated steps to be able to grow a small account to $25,000, then from that point, always, you can also grow it further on and make yourself, you know, rich and rich forever. And so one of the things that we are going to focus on here. It's risk and risk management, money and money management. We want everybody to make money, but more importantly, to keep the money that they are making, right? Because when you're keeping the money that you're making, then you are here every day and we are discussing things and we are all winning together. That is all I've got to talk about tonight.